Hello, here I will show you the dissection of bat. So incision is uh, first midline incision from C7 vertebra to the uh, sacral region. The second incision is horizontal incision taken from upper end of first incision that is from C7 vertebra spine to acromion process. The third incision is taken at the level of spine of T12 and the incision is extended laterally up to the mid axillary line and the fourth incision is taken from the lower end of first incision and it is a curved incision taken along the upper border of the iliac crest. Now after reflecting the skin flaps, we can see the superficial muscles of the back. So this muscle is the trapezius muscle. We can see only the lower part of trapezius because upper part of trapezius extends into the posterior aspect of neck. Now this broad muscle is the latissimus dorsi muscle. Now the lower part of origin of trapezius is cut from the spines. So we can see few more muscles which are inserted deep to the trapezius and these three muscles are inserted on medial border of scapula on dorsal surface. So these muscles from above downwards, this is levator scapulae, this is rhomboidus minor and this broad sheet of muscle, this is a rhomboidus major. Now trapezius, it is supplied by spinal part of accessory nerve. So here and this now supplies the muscle from deep surface. So here we can see the spinal part of the accessory nerve which is motor to the trapezius muscle and it is accompanied by superficial branch of transverse cervical artery. Now there's three muscles, levator scapulae, rhomboidus minor and rhomboidus major. They are supplied by nerve to rhomboid. It is also called as dorsal scapular nerve and this nerve it passes deep to the levator scapulae, rhomboidus minor and major and supplies all these three muscles from deep surface. So I will show you the dorsal scapular nerve or nerve to rhomboid. So this is a dorsal scapular nerve and it is accompanied by deep branch of transverse cervical artery which passes deep to these three muscles along the medial border of scapula and it takes part in anastomosis around the scapula. Now coming to the some special areas in the back, first is triangle of auscultation. So here you can see this is a left triangle of auscultation and this is a right triangle of auscultation. Now triangle of auscultation is bounded medially by lateral border of trapezius muscle, then laterally by medial border of scapula and below it is bounded by upper border of latissimus dorsi muscle. Now importance of triangle of auscultation. Triangle of auscultation overlies the apical segments of lower lobes of both the lungs. So here the respiratory sounds can be better heard. That is one clinical importance. And the second is the left triangle of auscultation overlies the cardiac orifice of the stomach. So previously when uh, investigations were not available, doctors used to auscultate in left triangular, left uh, triangle of auscultation. So patient was asked to swallow the fluid and splash of fluid were, if it is heard in left triangle of auscultation. So that was suggestive of normal esophagus. And if it was not heard, then it was suggestive of obstruction in the esophagus commonly because of carcinomas of the uh, esophagus. Now the second area in the back is the lumbar triangle of petit. Lumbar triangle of petit. Hmm. Lumbar triangle of petit, it is present in lower part of the back and this triangle is bounded medially by lateral border of latissimus dorsi, then laterally by this muscle is external oblique muscle. So lateral it is bounded by posterior border of external oblique muscle of abdomen and base is formed by 
iliac crest so clinical importance is this area is weak and this is prone for development of lumbar hernias thank you